Greetings! Welcome to Saint of the Week, the show where we choose one saint's feast day from this week and discuss their life and their impact on the church. The saint for this week is Saint Crescentia Hus, whose feast day is April 5th, this Thursday. Crescentia was born as Anna Hus on October 20th, 1682, in Kaufbrunn, Bavaria. She demonstrated great holiness from childhood, to the degree that she was permitted to receive her first Holy Communion at the age of seven, which was nearly unheard of at the time. She t took up her father's trade as a weaver, but desired to enter into the local convent of the Tertiary Franciscans. The convent was very poor, however, and since Anna had no money for a dowry, they would not accept her. Anna would not be denied her vocation, however, and in 1703, the town's Protestant mayor did the convent a great service by buying a local tavern, which was normally the cause of great disturbance, and donating it to the nuns. When they asked how they could repay him, he replied that they could accept Anna as a candidate, saying that it would be a shame if such an angel was spoiled by the world. The convent superior was very reluctant to receive Anna, calling her a parasite. But nevertheless, she was admitted in June of that year and given the name Maria Crescentia. At first, she was treated very poorly by the other nuns and forced to always perform the most menial of tasks. Even her naturally de cheerful personality and goodwill was misinterpreted as either flattery or hypocrisy. Conditions improved for Crescentia four years later when a new superior was elected who recognized her virtue and appointed her to the position of portress. In 1726, she became mistress of novices, and it was in this position that she began to win the love and respect of her fellow sisters. Crescentia also wrote many letters directed to people in high social positions, giving them advice and comfort for their worries. Bodily afflictions also plagued Crescentia throughout her life, first with headaches and toothaches, then paralysis so that she could not walk. Her hands and feet eventually became, became so crippled that her body curled up in the fetal position. In spite of this, when the current superior died in 1741, she was unanimously elected as successor. Crescentia had tried to refuse the role as superior out of humility, but she proved to be exemplary at her tasks all the same. With a spirit of maternal love to those under her charge, she greatly enriched the spiritual welfare of the convent, encouraging the observance of silence, recollection, and spiritual reading. She also showed great prudence in material affairs, and under her direction, circumstances in the convent became better than they had ever been. Even with all her bodily sufferings, Crescentia always maintained a spirit of peace and joy, fostered by her incredibly rich prayer life. It was in that spirit that she passed on to her reward on the 5th of April, Easter Sunday, in 1744. Her remains are venerated in the chapel of her monastery in Kaufbrunn, which was re renamed St. Crescentia Monastery in her honor. Crescentia Huss endured almost an almost unimaginable amount of pain in her life, both physical and emotional, but her sufferings only drew her closer to God and allowed her to enrich the lives of others by her wisdom and service and her living example of humility and joy. St. Crescentia Huss, pray for us. Our honorable mentions for this week are Blessed Anacleto Gonzalez Flores, St. Pedro Calangzad, St. Richard of Witch, St. Gaetano Catanoso, St. William of Escalso, and St. Herman Joseph. And of course, there are thousands of other saints who undoubtedly have their feast days this week, but there are so many of them that there is no way we could list them all here. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of Saint of the Week. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Peace, Peace be to you. you.